The perfect survival crafting game exists, and no, it's not Minecraft. In fact, Minecraft, despite being the biggest, is heavily flawed as a survival crafting game. Hold on, before you argue, I want you to remember that every time you and your friends load up a Minecraft world, you only play for two weeks before everyone abandons it. And the only way you can deny that is if you don't have any friends. So what is it? A, are you a friendless loser? Or B, is Minecraft a bad game? Seriously though, you'll always quit at the same point. You gather resources, build a base, make a farm, and never log back on because you had no goal. This is the problem with survival games. The most engaging part is the beginning. When you're lacking everything, you gain purpose. And in reverse, when you gain everything, you lose purpose. Valheim solves this in the perfect way. <clears throat> by bullying the ever-living shit out of you. You're my dinner. Oh. Like most survival games, it has a hunger mechanic. It slowly drains away until you eat. But unlike most games, you can't eat just anything. You can only eat three different foods at a time, and different foods affect your health and stamina in different ways. Early on, you can scavenge berries or mushrooms for small boosts to your stamina, which will help you chase down deer and strangle them to death with your bare hands. Yeah, you run. Oh, yo, what are you gonna do? Go into the water? You win this round. Okay, fine. Maybe you're gonna strangle a boar to death first. Bring it on. I'll take you all on. What are you gonna do? Three on one me? I can take you down. Oh, <clears throat> Well, once you've got your boar meat, cook it up and suddenly you've doubled your health. But of course, you'll need a fire, a cooking rack to place over it, and I'd recommend you get to that fast, because if you're stuck outside when it rains, you'll get wet. Not in a good way either, you'll be lowering your health and stamina. Oh, and remember to build a shelter, because that fire won't last long in the rain either. Oh, for f**k's sake. Thankfully, despite the game starting you completely naked, alone, and afraid, title of my sex tape, it will gracefully allow you to craft yourself armor and weapons from the resources you gather. Like this stick for bashing, or these sticks that throw sticks. You're mine! F and don't worry, you're going to absolutely suck with those sticks until you level up your stick. I, I mean weapon skill. But don't use them too much because they can and will break on you mid-fight. I think I'll be fine as long as I just keep kiting him. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, uh, come here, I'll bite your legs off. But now that you're a lean, mean stick machine, you can safely start gathering up resources for your first base. But don't gather too much because you've got a weight limit on your inventory, which you really don't want to go over. This isn't too bad. Hunger, temperature, weight, it's all fairly normal. But you have to manage all of these while going up against some of the most terrifying beasts you've ever seen. You don't know true fear until your food runs out mid-battle against an abomination and you're trying to scoff jam while dodge rolling through the mud and rain. Oh shit, I haven't eaten anything. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Even the act of building your first shelter, something mandatory in a game where the rain and wind actively debuff you, is designed to both crush and inspire you. Unlike other games where you can defy physics, Valheim forces you to build structures with proper supports. You'll spend hours failing, watching your base fall apart at every turn, until you finally manage to finish your roof. You're safe from the rain at last. You can rest, you can place your campfire down, and now you're suffocating from smoke inhalation. What the fuck? Why am I taking damage? Oh my God, it's smoke? I can't breathe? <laughs> what the fuck? This might feel grueling, but it's actually incredibly rewarding. The feeling of mastering the building in this game makes every other game's building feel like garbage, especially because placing and destroying is instant with full refunds on those materials. I'm sorry, but if I have to wait 30 seconds to build a wall, that's just not fun. And as Reggie said, if it's not fun, why bother? Valheim has this perfectly balanced difficulty in every aspect, even its crafting and gathering. In most games, gathering resources is tedious and boring, and you can't deny it's boring either, otherwise YouTubers wouldn't do all their mining off camera. Hey guys, so I've done some mining off camera, just a little bit. Not only is the entire world destructible, but as I said earlier, every resource has weight, and the heaviest options are things like wood, stone, and ores, all the things you'll need a lot of for your bases and crafting. This weight means you won't be able to just run off, get a stack of stone or ore, and then just run home. No, you need to do dozens of trips. Or if you're going far away in hopes of finding ore, you could take a cart. But if you take a cart, you'll be slower because of all the hilly terrain. So instead, you invest time building a highway, flattening the ground, carefully raising and lowering it so your cart can glide smoothly over it all. You'll do all of this for hours only to fill your card up so much uh yeah you can't pull it because it has weight too and away we go oh man and while you're out gathering don't forget to watch the clock because not only does mining and cutting trees down rile up the locals but if you're out after dark and the ground starts rumbling again you better run Leave me alone, I'm full of stone. But if you manage to survive your outing, safely making it back to your base, do you simply go to the crafting station and then make whatever you want? No, because simple crafting stations are boring and Valheim has made damn sure it's not simple. You start with a crafting bench, sure, but you need to build add-ons like tanning racks, cutting logs, and more to level it up. The higher the level, the more you can craft. 
Even the cauldrons, breweries, and stone cutting stations require careful thought about where and how you place them. But it's worth it because if you can start eating carrot soup instead of berries, you'll be unstoppable. Ooh, a cave. Uh, I think this is empty. I can't see anything. <laughs> Hello? Oh, God, I'm out. Okay, so you'll need a forge to handle those ores you so bravely discovered. But that means you'll need a charcoal furnace, a smeltery, and even more accessories to level the forge up. All of which needs special resources that, you guessed it, are hidden inside crypts deep in the Black Forest. Oh, fuck! And when you think you've finally done it, you've built your base, gathered a food source, maybe even started the farm... Valheim doesn't lose purpose. Because unlike other games, the progression is so perfectly done that you always feel the need to just go a tiny bit further, to strive to conquer more lands and sail out into the giant procedurally generated world in search of just one more thing. You see, the game introduces you straight away to your goal. Slay the enemies of Odin and hang their bodies on the ritual stones. It sounds dark, and don't worry, it is. Each boss belongs to a different biome, and they each hold an item or resource that will let you move on to the next. For example, to move on from using sticks and stones and start using metals, you need to use the antlers of the first boss to craft a pickaxe. And while he is usually easy to find spawning near the first base, uh, the rest of the bosses are not. So I'm down here, and the next boss is up there. Fuck. In most survival games, your instinct is to build one main base early on, finding a great spot and investing all your time there. But Valheim is built on the idea of exploration. Resources are divided into different biomes, with each more difficult to survive than the last. You'll spend hours sailing, fighting storms, sea monsters, mapping the coastlines as you go, learning quickly not to get too close to the biomes you've not explored yet. Is that a mosquito? And when you eventually find what you're looking for, you can't simply sail all the way home. After all, the wind will somehow always be coming at you from the wrong direction. <laughs> so you build another base with another forge, another crafting bench, but this time it's a bit easier because you can bring the resources with you or find them close by in a new scarier biome. Quite early on, you'll be able to build and link portals to help make travel easier, thankfully. But that makes all of this sound pointless, right? If you need a special ore that is only found in a later biome, you could just sail there, get the ore and portal home. Why bother building a whole new base? Well, Valheim solves this by <clears throat> bullying the ever-living shit out of you. Key resources can't be portaled. It sounds so simple when you say it, but when faced with the choice of sailing for 30 minutes just to smelt a single stack of ore or building a whole new base, you naturally build a whole new base. And in doing so, you realize your first base was trash. Holy shit, I lived like this? For me, the thing I've always struggled with in survival games is utility versus decoration. After all, why would I waste resources on rugs, hangings, or generally making something look nice when I'm fighting for my damn life? Well, simple. Just like when you sit by a fire, it dries you off faster. Being in a house that's considered comfortable in Valheim will let you feel more rested and generally buff you for your adventures. This is why Valheim is so perfect. You arrive in a new terrifying land. Everything bullies you, but you scrape by. Slowly you conquer your surroundings, build your home, upgrade your armor, tools, weapons, until you fear nothing. And then you set out and eventually arrive in a new terrifying land where everything will bully you. And well, all that work means nothing here. No other game has come close to feeling as satisfying as Valheim does, and it really only has one problem. I don't have any friends to play it with. Four bore out of five.